this is Matt from Investing Today is Monday, July 13th, 2020. And this morning we saw the markets gap up above the prior day's high. We consolidated a little bit in the morning, a small test lower that ended up finding buyers and pushing higher. And we have since kind of gone sideways uh, for the past few hours or so, but we're still holding in the top portion of the range. So what we've got is a gap up that never filled the gap. In fact, we never even made it to the prior day high that then turned and went higher and is holding these higher prices. So what I wanna do is just look at that pattern in the bullish environment that we are in and see what that has looked like going into the close today. So let me set this up. We will look at all four instruments. We will use an intraday time-based entry of 3 p.m. Eastern time. We will set it up as a long, so it'll be getting long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now this morning, we gapped up above the prior day high, so I'm gonna add that here from our opening filters section. Then I'm gonna go into the post open filters. This is where you can add all of the price action around what has happened since the market opened. How is the day developing? So in, inside of here, I can say that we are trading in the top half of the range as prices are holding uh, fairly strong into the afternoon. And I can either do the gap is not filled, which is true, or I can do a slightly stronger variation, which is what we had uh, this morning, where the low of the session is above the high of the prior day. And that's the one I'm going to use here. And you can do that here in the intraday low versus daily levels. So I can say that the intraday low is greater than the prior day high. So let me add that. And then lastly, I'm just going to go into the indicators section and put us in a like environment. So I'm going to use above a 10 day moving average and above a 200 day moving average. Once I've got both of those, I can click view results. And here we go. So these are the results going long off of this bullish looking pattern. When you're looking at the charts where you gap up above the prior day high, you never test the prior day high. So your prices the entire day are holding above the prior day high and you're trading in the top half of the range going into uh, the closing hour and 15 minutes. And this is in a market that is above a 10 day and above a 200 day uh, moving average. So you're in a stronger market, a stronger bullish market, and you're seeing bullish price action. Historically, we've had this happen 138 times in the ES, almost identical numbers here in the NASDAQ and YM has not happened as frequently in the Russell, only 77 samples there. And looking at the stats, this is very messy. So this looks and sounds like a bullish pattern uh, where you're getting that type of price action where you can't even make it to the prior day's high before it starts turning around and pushing higher and holding higher prices. But historically, this has not had much of an edge going into the close. Uh, ES is 50-50. NASDAQ has been just a touch weak. Same with YM, just a touch weak. Russell, just a, a touch favored. But none of these are showing a strong edge in either direction. Uh, the stats just look pretty messy and are not really pointing at an edge. So historically, this pattern has not shown a bias going into the close, even though it does sound like a bullish pattern. So hopefully you found that interesting. Good luck today, and we will see you tomorrow.